Curves LFO is just a regular LFO with all its settings. But here, instead of relying on predefined shapes or exchanging the shape with the wavetable, you can draw in your own shapes with an editor. Besides that, it's just a regular LFO. You have your speed setting up here. You can switch this to different units, Hertz, kilohertz, right? 50 kilohertz now. So it's audio rate. Then you switch this here to bar, which is a synchronized uh, mode. Uh, it's synchronized to your uh, transport. And you can dial in here maybe three bars. So it takes now three bars to um, yeah, repeat this cycle here one time, right? Um, this is how you can see it. We have also a smoothing here option, which you can disable or enable, which means uh, when you have inside here some pretty drastic changes, you can create certainly some pops and crackles here and there. So you can use the smoothing here to make these edges a bit rounder. You can switch to a bipolar mode, so you can have here now uh, negative and positive values for the LFO output. And we have also your retriggering modes free, so it just repeats whenever uh, on different note resets. So when you press a note or a note is incoming from the piano roll, it resets the phase and starts from the beginning again or synchronized. So it's synchronized to the transport uh, phase signal. So a specific point in this shape is always at a specific point in your um, arrangement. Then we have groove setting here. So it's uh, also applying the groove shuffle, the global shuffle uh, and randomized. So every time a note is incoming, it starts at a different point um, Yeah, in, in this shape. Okay, then we have polyphonic mode. So you can use multiple keys at the same time and each key becomes its own or gets its own uh, LFO. And we have your face uh, thing where we can offset basically where we start in the, in the face. And also if you switch this here to hold, um, you can use the face input here to change the position in the cycle, right? So you can do this manually or you use an LFO, a different LFO, and then modulate this here to change the position of the uh, cycle. You can also use a random modulator, of course, to make this randomly. This is also possible. So these are the options we have with this here. So let's switch this here to bar and go back out of this. And we have this here implemented on a polysynth. Right, and we can just take the output of this modulator and modulate here the cutoff. And then we can open up the editor of this uh, LFO here by just clicking on this space. We get now here this editor. We can also move this around, change the sizing if it's too small. And then we have here some kind of grid in there. You can see some lines. And you can say we want to change this grid because the grid is pretty helpful actually. Let's say we have 16, uh, 16 segments here and we want to play back this here in the time frame of one bar. So the whole cycle plays back in one bar, right? And we divide this by 16, which are 16 notes, 16 notes. Um, so each column here is a 16 notes, 16 note. Um, we can now here change this to different shapes. Uh, let's take here the square thing, and then we can just draw different things here in there, or we can just click and drag. That's also possible, right? Or we can use this pencil and draw freely or be pretty precise here to get more points or just, you know, draw quickly and we get less points. It's not that precise anymore, but you get, you know, get the idea done. You can also switch uh, back to the arrow where we can move each of these uh, points around. You can see it snaps here to the grid, which is pretty helpful because with, its, with these 16 segments here, we stay pretty much, um, pretty much in sync with the BPM. 
So let's do this here, drawing some weird shapes, something like this, or maybe over two columns, then nothing, then bring in something here, something like this, or maybe even increase the vertical sensitivity to 16 or 12, something like this. So we have more, more steps we can choose from. Yeah, something like this, or use here even different shapes. And then if you are done, you can save this here in the top left corner to your library, if you want to recall that. Or you can right click here on the space and load a different curve from the library. Also save it, copy the curve or paste the curve or just do a reset, so delete everything, right? But that's not what we want today. Um, so now we modulate this here. We draw in a custom curve. Maybe start like this. Let's see how it sounds. You can see it's pretty rhythmically and it's also correct or it sounds like correct it's pretty much on the grid and because it's free here it's probably not synchronized so we use your note so every time we press a note or key is incoming here, we start at the beginning. So when we start with a hit or with a key press on the grid, the rest of the cycle of this shape is perfectly in sync. Or we switch this here to synchronized mode. And the LFO doesn't care when we hit the key, it's always synchronized. And the shape even doesn't re-trigger, it just plays. You can change the notes here, press different notes and it's always synchronized. Okay, so we can switch this here also to polyphonic mode, so we can now um, use multiple keys. Right, I'm pressing here four keys at the, the same time. Maybe use your note setting, so every time I press a key, And because I'm pressing these keys one after the other, they start in a different time frame. Which makes it more interesting. Maybe add a delay here. Yeah. Go to eight. And as you can see, you can create a lot of interesting movements just with this oscillator by drawing in some custom shapes. And if you use here these synchronized modes, um, yeah, you can do no wrong, basically. Another interesting thing is that you can switch this here also to pitch of current note. So the frequency of the LFO plays back at the frequency of your key that you are pressing. So when you press C3, it plays in the frequency of C3. So let's use that. So right, it's pretty fast.
Okay, maybe we modulate this. As you can see, you can create a lot of nice movement with this LFO. You can also use it for sound design purposes. So it's pretty versatile, pretty interesting, and you can draw in any shape you want.